the, the overbind, as we do it now, uh, starts with the, the one falling under attempting to thrust uh, from a side grip. So we, if Pierre would fall under, and I'm in, uh, I'm in half shield, as he falls under, he then proceeds to attempt to thrust by either binding or simply thrusting directly forward or maybe stepping, but definitely keeping in true time. So to offset him, I would then overbind him, of course, and slightly offset his uh, blade. But to begin with, um, and you just probably come closer so you can see my hands, when I'm in, in half shield here, I'm using a front grip, like so, like a cutter. Mm -hmm. And then as he, just before he falls under, I go to this uh, guarded or schützen position where I change into a loose uh, side grip. So there's room underneath here. And that means that I have slight edge towards his so I can feel when he's pushing forward with his blade. So as soon as he's tr attempting to thrust, uh, the bite of the blades will tell me, inform me that he's actually moving forward. So this tells me that he's moving, and then I can start my overbind. And my overbind is a rotation like this. So I maintain my, the same structure, the same grip, and I simply rotate to be over, and then I sort of catch his blade in a virtual corner in here, so like so. My shield stays in the center as I then proceed to push forward and change grip into the thumb grip, like so. My shield pushes forward in the center and then strike at him. And uh, if I can, I can strike either his arm or at his head and he will probably raise his shield and that's when the shield strike occurs and then I can strike my Stutzhauer on the other side. Okay, so the, uh, the Mortacio Gladi uh, happens when the overbinder commits to hinging forward or pressing forward and in that moment uh, just after the overbind the mutage happens by escaping slightly to the side and up and then uh, re-establishing the bind. So here falls under and then I overbind and this is too soon because then I would change my plan but as soon as I move forward to commit he then frees himself and does the uh, Mutrasho Gladi because then I'm already heading almost for the shield strike and then I'm pretty open here and he can more or less just strike directly into my, my center. And then of course Especially if I am moving in false time because then I would just go... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do the off fuck and push yeah, it to if the I, side? Yeah, if, if I push it this way he would just simply uh, follow the pressure and do a dupli and a push step. And he would then, to s stay safe from my blade pushing here, he would step <coughs> that way as he's doing it. So he does that. And that's probably the push step. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. So after the half shield, we then change to this, this Schutzen thing. Then go up. Struts out. Okay, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, talk for you after. Talk for you after.